Hey friends, welcome back. Don't worry, I'm not sick. This is just my morning 5.30 raspy voice. So um, I was gonna do this video last night, but I didn't, I went to bed and I am up early. So I decided to film before I get ready for work. So um, this deal right here, Dollar General, I had the coupon for $3 off of a $15 purchase. So let me tell you what coupon that is. So on the bottom of your Dollar General receipt, I'm trying to cover this up. All right, so some of you may be receiving this coupon on the bottom of your receipt. If you do this survey, you're gonna get $3 off of a $15 purchase. Now, I know that it's not on everybody's receipt, but it's on some people and they're getting this coupon. I'm sorry, they're getting this little survey. So there's a code right there. So when you go to DG, let me just do this. Okay, sorry. When you go to dgcustomerfirst.com, then you're going to type in that code, and then it's also, also gonna tell you to type in the phone number. I'm sorry, not the phone number, but the time that you checked out with this purchase. It's like a five minute survey. Then it's gonna ask you, do you want to print the coupon at the end of the survey or email it? I chose the option to print it myself at the end of the survey. So once the survey finished, it was like, here's your coupon, print it, click to print. I clicked to print. And it's just like a pretty much kind of similar to a coupon from coupons.com. It just has a barcode. It says $3 off of your total. I mean, $3 off of a $15 purchase. So um, I did that. So what I did was since it was a paper digital coupon, I'm sorry, since it was a paper dollar general coupon, once the cashier rang up everything, I asked him, can he please scan that coupon first before I typed in my phone number? Because when you type in your phone number, any coupons that you've sent to your Dollar General account are going to apply. And I didn't want my digital coupon to apply first and that knocked my total below $15. So um, my cashier was really nice. He was like, sure. So he scanned the paper coupon first for the three dollars off 15 and then he goes okay so it's in there it's in the system now so now you can type in your phone number so that's when I typed in my phone number so let me tell you the coupons that I had I had a, a coupon from coupons.com for two dollars off of a Tide Pod 12 count or higher this is a 14 count I also had a two dollar off gain fling Coupon from coupons.com. It's $2 off a 12 count or higher, and this is a 16 count. I had an insert coupon for you buy the dial, dial body wash and you get the dial hand soap for free. And then I had a digital coupon on the Dollar General app for buy one, get one free. However, for some reason, this coupon did not come off. And I wonder if it's because I didn't get a smaller one which it's the same price but on the picture of the coupon it's like if you buy this one you get one at um, the same price for free but it's listing like a different one the little smaller cans so I don't know if it's like being funky about it with that but I paid a dollar 25 more than I should have but I can't worry about that it's it's a done deal so I'm not gonna worry about it but this is everything that I got so here's my breakdown for you. So you got $4.50, $4.50, $3 for the body wash, $1.95 for the hand soap, and $1.25 each for the kickstarts. I would say don't get the kickstarts if you want to follow this deal. If you have Nivea coupons, I would get the Nivea, um, what do you call it, lip balm instead if you have those coupons. Or just find something else to get to replace the kickstart. So my subtotal was $16.45. So then I had um, $5.95 in coupons because $2 off, $2 off for the Tide and Game. And then the BOGO coupon was $1.95. But then that's just in manufacturer coupons, $5.95. So we're going to disregard that the Kickstart coupon didn't come off. And then don't forget, I had the $3 off 15 survey coupon. So... After all of my coupons, my subtotal was $7.70, but it should have been $6.25, but it's okay. I took a loss. So here's my receipt. So what I did notice on my receipt is that 
when the cashier went and typed in the amount for the dial hand soap, he typed it in. And then I don't know if he did it correctly. I think he's new, but it automatically like took the dial hand soap off of my transaction. But I did pay for it, but it's weird that however he put the amount in, it just subtracted it from the entire receipt. So I'm not sure how he did that on his end, but I did get it, but it doesn't show it on here. So you'll see my subtotal was $770, and then with tax it was $834. So I did pay with PayPal, so I didn't pay anything out of pocket. But overall, I had to like make myself feel better about losing that dollar and twenty-five cents since it didn't come off. And so when I did the math, I actually paid like a dollar and fourteen cents, I think, for each item. So I looked at it that way. So it wasn't too too bad. But if you guys are getting this coupon. For, I'm sorry, getting the advertisement for the survey and you wanted to figure out what to get. I don't think that this is a bad deal at all for getting these items. You're getting name brand items here. So um, I also did get the $5 off 25 coupon if you guys are wondering about that. This is for Saturday. However, I already have the digital coupon for 5 off 25 so I've already loaded that to my account. Next, I'm going to do the breakdown. I did do a breakdown for you guys, so I'm going to do that next. But that is it for now on this video. I hope that this is helpful. Sorry about the raspy voice, but you know we all have that morning raspy voice. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video.